Tom, how are you? Good, mate. How you doing? Mate, thanks for getting in the back of the van now. That's <laughs> all right. M most people freak out, but you're doing okay. Just breathe through it. Yeah, well, look, I've been in a chopper today, so I think from, uh, you know, in comparison, this is pretty relaxed. Mate, this is the Zoom mobile, so it's fitted out better than a chopper. Yeah, a bit more. Uh, I don't know about that. Actually, the <laughs> chopper was eight million bucks. How much is this worth? Oh, uh, well, we'll pass on that. We don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> now, you work on winners and losers. I do. Okay, which is one of the. Uh, I suppose the success stories of Australian production. Yeah, let's do what? Tell us about how you scored the role and how you got there. Um, I scored it. I actually was um, I was a reader for the girls when they were auditioning the, the girls, and at the end of the day, they said, "Would you mind learning this script and come back in tomorrow morning and, and put a test down?" And so then the next thing, I was in Melbourne testing with Mel Valiaho, and you know we we now have been working together for almost three years, I think, well, wow. two and a half years. The show just keeps growing and. And yeah. I suppose evolving. It's a good show to watch. Yeah, I think I think I think if it, you know, as it as long as it does sort of evolve and change, then uh, it just should keep going for a, a hell of a long time. There's no reason why it can't. You know, um, it's you know it's a good premise. It sort of you know started off with four girls living in Melbourne, and and I don't know. It's sort of as long as you look at the lives of, of people in inner city of Melbourne, and then <laughs> it can go anywhere. Yeah, you never know. Now talking about going anywhere, your your career. It must have started somewhere. So just take us through, I suppose, uh, the, the summary of the points in your career, how you got to where you are today. Uh, I did, well, I started off doing an arts comedy degree at Melbourne Uni, so I was going to go down a completely different, you know, route. And then uh, I did a play at Uni uh, about Errol Flynn, and it was just like the best experience ever. I just kind of loved it, and uh, and then sort of went overseas for a while and came back and got into drama school. Uh, graduated from drama school and then just been doing theatre you know, pretty much for sort of three or four years with like tiny little bits of telly and then and then this came along. Okay, now it's time to get deep. It's time for the Asanda Fast Five. You ready for it? Sure. Okay, so the first question is, what was the first car you ever owned? I still own it. There you go, what is it? Subaru Liberty. So you've got to love the Subaru. <laughs> it's, it's 1991, <laughs> Subaru Liberty. Uh, I got it when I was 18 and it's still alive today. What would be your opinion of the best car on the road today? It's like the Renault Megane Trophy Sport or something. Okay. The French police turned around and said, we need something to catch all the bad guys. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be fast, it's got to be awesome, and uh, of course it's French, so it's pretty sexy. Now, what is your opinion of the worst car? Never yeah, mate, for any reason. Oh, the, I'll tell you what, the Volkswagen up looks pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I wouldn't be caught dead driving that. Final question, mm -hmm. this is going to stump you, I know it is, your biggest fear? My biggest fear, I uh, just talked about that today. Uh, I, my biggest fear, I swallowed as I talked about it. <laughs> uh, my biggest fear is, uh, is is crashing in a plane in the middle of the Pacific or Indian Ocean yes. and being like one of two survivors and just getting eaten slowly by sharks and, yeah. uh, having, and just never getting picked up, just drowning. That would just make ocean. an awesome movie, I think, just as they kept coming around. Yeah, yeah, like... I think it's been done. I think it's caught open water. <laughs> oh, there uh, you go. But uh, it's definitely like, it's. That's, I can't think of anything worse. Well, mate, I don't want you to get stuck in the back of the Zoomobile, so I'm going to wrap it up and let you out of here, okay? 